What is a chemical reaction that you have not seen but you would like to do? I think that most chemical reactions are really exciting and particularly when they're filmed by Brady who can do things very close up in slow motion and things like that. And over the last nearly 12 years with periodic videos, there are all sorts of reactions that I thought were a bit boring, which have turned out to be really beautiful. So this is actually much better than I intended because I was going to make it purple and make it go clear. And here you can see I'm pouring in a purple solution and it's disappearing. And if you ask most chemists, the things that really turn them on about chemistry is seeing coloured precipitates forming, colour changes, all sorts of reactions, even the occasional explosion. What is your career greatest achievement? To survive till my age. I'm also quite proud that I've worked in lots of different areas of chemistry. This probably means that I'm not as famous as if I had stayed as a specialist in one particular area, but it's been such fun exploring so many different areas. If you helped discover the next super heavy element and you were asked to name it, what would you call it? I've been asked once or twice by Brady when new elements have been discovered. I quite like the name Plankium after Max Planck, but I must say that I don't get quite as excited about naming of elements as some other people. Though I do think it was a really good choice to name element 118 after Yuri Aganesian. How does it feel to be, or do you consider yourself to be, an internet YouTube celebrity? I think if I'm a celebrity at all, I'm a fairly minor one. So it means that I can go around public places without being mobbed by many people. I occasionally meet fans, and that's really quite fun. But some of the people who appear as scientists on television, mainstream television, cannot go into a restaurant or bar without hundreds of people coming round them asking for autographs and other things. You don't have that problem? Not yet. <laughs> What is your personal hobby? Do you like sports cars and luxury watches? The answer is I don't like the sports cars. I've had the same brand of car for nearly 40 years, more than 40 years, and um, the current one is blue. And what kind of car is it? It's a Volkswagen Passat. And I'm slightly ashamed now because it has a diesel engine that has emission levels that are higher, but since most weeks I walk considerably further than I drive, I don't think that this is a serious environmental problem. And you can see I have a pretty standard watch. The problem is that digital watches, which I think are much better than analog ones, are becoming unfashionable and it's quite difficult to find them now. And I suppose my hobby is buying books and reading them. A lot of people have asked, I know you've answered this before, but maybe it's changed. Do you have a favourite element? And a question that we haven't heard before, do you have an unfavourite element? A most disliked element? So, well, let me answer first. I don't have a most disliked element. What's extraordinary is I used to think that lots of elements were boring, but every time we make a video about an element, even one that I thought was boring, I suddenly find it's really much more interesting than I thought. So I don't think now there are any boring elements at all. Even the one that's called boron, and as you know, my colleague Debbie is really in love with it. Someone's even written a song saying Debbie loves boron. And I still think my favorite element is sodium because as you may have heard me explain, my mother was called Ina, I-N-A, and as a little girl, she shortened her name to Na, and my children used to call her Na as their grandmother. So every time I see a chemical formula with sodium in it, N-A, I feel a warm motherly feeling. So we have what is called a shank line setup. This is because we can't have boron in, in, in oxygen. 
boron, in, in, especially in wet oxygen, because it will react with it. And we want to keep our, our compound as nice and pure as possible, so my students can use it for their reactions.